we'll review um, Welcome to New York. <laughs> oh, OK. OK, so... All right, um, OK. Yeah, get you ready, You want to go everybody. first, Sean? Yeah. yeah, you go first. Uh, this is directed by Abel Ferrara. It's inspired by the story of Dominique Strauss-Kahn, so former head of the IMF, one-time possible candidate for the French presidency, uh, who was accused of sexually assaulting a maid in a hotel in New York in 2011, an accusation which he always denied, and the criminal case was actually thrown out. Strauss Kahn now says he wants to sue the makers of this film, of Welcome to New York, for slander, because he thinks some of the things in the movie are utterly outrageous. But, to, 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 you know, to, to give the film its credit, it does make clear that it's not About real. About him. It's yeah. not reality. It is just a story. For starters, the names have been changed. Gerard Depardieu stars. His character isn't called Dominic Strauss Kahn. His character is called Devereux. Um, but he's clearly inspired by him. Um, here is Gerard anyway. He's proclaiming his innocence to his wife, Simone, played by Jacqueline Bissett. I didn't do it. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do what uh, they say I did, you know, Simone. You, you, must, uh, you must trust me. You know who I am. You know everything. You know everything and uh, you saved me. And I'm sorry. My life has been turned upside down. My life too. No, 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 no. That's not true. Your life has been upside down from the day you were born. I tried, God knows I tried, years to make you into a man. Do you know what a man is? Yes, yes, I know what a man is. I didn't do what he said. You don't know what a man is. A man knows about consequences, consequences. Jacqueline Bezet and Gerard Depardieu. Abel, of course, uh, directs Bad Lieutenant and Driller Killer and The Blackout. He doesn't really do, certainly in this film, he doesn't really do grey areas. I mean, he just shows this character of Devereux to be utterly seedy and utterly desperate. And certainly the first half hour is tough to watch. It's essentially Gerard Depardieu getting it on with a variety of escort girls for 30 minutes. I mean, there, there's more There's more grunting than actual dialogue. Oh, it's the... And he put... <clears throat> oh, it's horrible. Oh, yeah. It's I oh. nearly... I very nearly... It, it takes a lot for me to switch a movie off. And I was very close to switching this off after the first 15 minutes. Not because I was watching it in my mum and dad's house. That was uncomfortable enough. But just... It was just... I just didn't know where... I was going, please, it's got to go somewhere after this. And then it's takes you to the peak of uncomfortableness and then suddenly you're there and you're I was gripped I mean I think it's an incredible story and an incredible performance from Depardieu as well but it does take a lot to get yeah. you through that first half hour yeah. because he, he is it's, it's a very mumbly first half hour very loosely filmed feels very improvised Lots of slapping he's this permanently randy heavy breathing heavy drinking grizzly bear of a he's bloke a big really. man, he's like he? he's like a cross between gordon gecko from wall street and sid james from carry on henry i mean it's it's he really does utterly go for it and there is a it's 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 devera gerard in various states of undress on the poster um it says uh something about depodger giving a fearless performance now we know that in film critics speak fearless means naked needs naked yeah. like brave a very yeah. brave performance they're basically in the raw that's what it means yeah. and you do have to get past those first 30 minutes where that's pretty much what it is to get to the next stage which is actually very interesting because then you get simon who we just heard yeah. jacqueline bissett his wife who is fantastic in it and then he seems to think about his actions and think about his life and starts to analyse his life. And the film becomes much more pensive. And, I mean, essentially, I suppose, the story is about uh, the American dream, really, and the greed of capitalism and, uh, and of money. And, how uh, money uh, can get you out of anything. And, and how money, when you have so much of it, you just want more stuff and you think that you, you, you know, the world owes you a living. Mm. Um, so it's a film where the mood changes. And it definitely needed to because it, it starts off very difficult to watch. But after that, it does get pretty interesting. And Gerard De Depardieu is he's more daring and desperate and depraved and fearless uh, in this and bonkers 
than he has been mm. for years. And he's a great actor. There's a lot of controversy about Depardieu and he's had his ups and downs. There's been all kinds of things talked about him. But at the end of the day, when he really goes for it, yeah, he he's goes. incredibly compelling to watch. There's a scene in the film which involves him being, uh, he, has, he takes his clothes off, not for any kind of sexual act, but but through, through being in prison, basically. It's, it's, I think it's the first time where he takes his clothes off not, not for, for a sexual, sexual act. Yeah. Uh, and he's trying, you think, he's, how's he going to get those socks back on? It's a bit like watching a walrus scene from a, a, a Richard Attenborough documentary. Uh, and sorry, David Attenborough's um, um, documentary. That would be a completely different documentary. It's he's such a massive man, and yeah. all that just adds to this kind of, I don't know, the 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 um, the greed, I guess, of yeah. that, that feeds into this film as well. Oh, oh, don't, don't, oh, grunt, oh the grunting. <laughs> 